so welcome back to my channel maggie's dream if you're new welcome i want to start off by saying thank you so much for my 200 subscribers greatly appreciated it means the world to me my goal is to get at least to 500 by the end of the year you know little by little i'm trying to post like two times a week i know it's kind of hard right now with my schedule and i'm gonna go back to school but i'm trying my very very best and today's video is gonna be a dollar tree makeup video of course I couldn't find everything from the Dollar Tree, so I went in and used my products as well that I already have. And guys, I did this look with a $1 palette from Color Mates. I'm like shook, you guys. I'm super shook. Um, I think they're updating their formulas or something because I did use this palette a long time ago, like in high school. It used to look different. And I guess they kind of changed it up a little bit, you know, they're stepping the game up. I got this palette, Flower Bouquet, because I really loved the peachy shades and the blue and the greens. Perfect for summer. They had other shades as well. And they had like, I think they had like three or four more. So I'm going to go out and buy them as well because I really like them. Look at that, you guys. I mean, I did this cut crease look. And then I, I also used a... A dollar lip duo from LA Colors. I'm sure you all have seen these before. I got the color Clarity. That's what I have on my lips right now. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, this cut crease look that I have right here, keep on watching. And I'm going to go in with this first light peachy shade right here. I'm going to go in with this Beach Cosmetics brush. And I didn't set my eyelids, I just put the primer on just like that. Let me get more. Let me get close up and personal. <laughs> so y'all could see what I'm actually like doing. So yeah, let's see. I'm just going in with this light peachy shade. So yeah guys, I actually went out and bought um, a microphone from Amazon. I should be getting it in like tomorrow, I think. That way I can record my videos and I'll sound louder because I know I don't speak loud. But yeah, hopefully that will help me. I got it off Amazon. When I get it, I'll leave the link down in my next video. Um, but yeah, I got it just so I can sound louder. So yeah, just going with the peachy shade. Because I always like to start light and then gradually grow and get darker. Okay, and then next I'm going to go in with this peachy shade right here. Let's see. I'm going to go in with this dark shade right here. I'm just going to put it on my outer crease because I want the outer crease to be darker. Okay, this palette has some fallout, but not like bad. It just, you know, normal fallout. Kind of like the Wet n Wild palette. Um, okay. I think I'm going to do like a cut crease, a half cut crease. That's, that's what I want to do today. I don't know. I just like playing around with makeup. I'm going to go out today with my daughters to the park and just grocery shopping. I'm not going to do much, but yeah. Then I go to nursing school, I go again like in two weeks, I'm going to go to level two, so I'm trying to like film a bunch of videos and then put them up later, that way I won't be like all ghost <laughs> for you all. 
Okay, then I'm going to go in with my blending brush. And I'm just going to blend out everything that I just did. And blend, blend. Okay, now I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Concealer. I've been loving Flower Beauty products lately. This is the one that I've been using. I love the packaging. It looks it looks high end. It looks high end to me. So that's what I'm gonna be using to cut my crease. And I'm just using a concealer brush from Beach Cosmetics. So yeah, I'm just doing like a cut, a half cut crease. Let's see. And if you don't know where the cut crease goes, just look up. And then wherever the concealer um, gets on, you just put, you just start the crease from there. At first I didn't know how to do cut creases, but now I know. And then just blend a little bit. Kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to finish the other side off camera. And just apply it wherever you put concealer. I like using this one because it's straight and it doesn't mess with my cut crease. It just makes it look precise. So yeah, just add that on there. Okay, so this is the look right here. Now I need to blend. Remember to always blend out. So I'm going to pick up the blending brush again with no product and just blend it out. For bottom, for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be going in with the green shades right here. I'm just going to go light and then dark. That's what I'm going to do. Just want it to be as summery as possible. So I'm going to go in with the lighter color first and then just grow. I did wet my brush a little bit just so it could look more pigmented. Because, as I said, I played around with this before, and, no, not Beach, Beauty Creations Glitter. I picked this up at my local store here called Casa Kevin. If, if you haven't seen the video that I made about it, um, I'm going to link it up above, because it reminds me of the Wish store. I don't know if everybody has that store, if it's just here where I live in Texas. So, but yeah, Beauty Creations glitter it's like a gold glitter i'm going to be putting this on my crease and i'm going to be using a pencil brush from wet and wild so and just apply it on the crease And then I'm going to dip my brush into the glitter and just apply wherever I applied the glue. I really love this glue. It just keeps everything together without, like, producing any, like, fallout. Or, like, you do get a little bit of fallout, but not, like, crazy. Just everything just sticks together. Mascara and then for <clears throat> eyelashes, I use the uh, LA Colors Dramatic Lashes in the style Diva. I got these at Family Dollar and they were just a dollar. They always have them there here at my Family Dollar. 
So I always get these because they look very pretty whenever I apply them. They look just what they say dramatic. That's what I like for just a dollar. I like I like looking for deals. I'm on a budget. I'm a nursing student, so of course. So then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna finish up my face using the LA Colors Liquid Makeup in the color tan. Uh, so with my beauty blender. Hopefully it matches me because it looks dark. Let's see. Oh yeah, it looks dark. Oh my god. But anyways, I'm a little bit tan because I went to the beach and stuff. So let's see. Man, I mean, we look really dark, but I don't know if you can see it on camera. Guys, I'm going to try to listen to camera because right now I use my phone and I know it's not the best of quality, but I mean, I try my best. Um, yeah, but I want to get a camera, but I don't know what to get or what. I've been looking at some on Amazon, but I don't know. I wouldn't like for it to come defective and then I wouldn't know. I've never like had to return anything on Amazon. I don't know how that works. I feel like there's not enough coverage with this LA Colors foundation. I feel like it's just like a BB cream. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet and Wild Desert Beige Photo Focus Foundation. This is my holy grail. I love this one. I'm gonna go in with this one. <clears throat> coverage okay now I'm gonna go in with some LA colors bronzer I did do a full face LA colors and I used some of these products if you want to uh, check it out I'll leave it at the end of this video so y'all could check out that one out I got this one at Dollar Tree as well and I'm gonna go in with my bronzer brush from elf I love elf brushes and beach cosmetics I'm gonna try to invest in some morphe brushes I hear those are like way better this kind of has glitter in it so if you don't like glitter you know you're not gonna like this <clears throat> I'm gonna be using the LA Colors blush it's just a pink shade like that I did use it in my other video as well full face using LA Colors um, I was very impressed end result I'm gonna go in with a stippling brush from a wet and wild and I'm just gonna <clears throat> apply it like that guy it's pigmented but since it's a summery look you know you can just apply it on the apples of your cheeks smile <laughs> ooh that is pigmented but don't worry we're gonna blend it out Okay, guys, and I'm also going to use this powder <clears throat> from LA Colors. It's in the color tan. <clears throat> I'm just going to use it to set my makeup as well. I used to use this one also when I was in high school, but it would just make me break out so bad. But, you know, just for this look, I'm going to try it out. They like powders they give me like a little bit of tan because I got tan ever since I went to the beach so yeah. okay I played it on my nose and it made it look super cakey I don't know if you could see it on off camera or on camera I mean I don't know if you could see but it made me look very made it look super cakey wow Next, I'm going to go in with, I'm going to finish the look with lipstick and highlight. For lipstick, I found this one, LA Colors. It's a lip duo. It's a lipstick and a lip gloss in the color Clarity. I really loved this color. I tried it already, and it just looked so pretty with this look. <clears throat> I really loved it. I loved, it was like a nude kind of color. Like a little bit of pink, but not too much. And it comes with gloss as well, so I'm going to apply it. 
<clears throat> I'm going to purchase more of these because I love the look. I think they changed the formula because I had gotten it a long time ago and it was super cakey. And super sticky and now it's not. It just gives like a wet finish which I love and appreciate. Okay, so next I'm just going to finish off the look with some highlighter. Um, overall, I'm loving this look. I mean, the eyeshadow palette is just $1. You can't beat it, you guys. It looks kind of looks like my Morphe palette. I don't know. It looks kind of like, I don't know. It just looks, for $1, I'm like shook, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. And then my lipstick. I think they're really updating their formula because I've used some of these products before. And they did not apply this well. Or maybe now I know how to do my makeup. I don't know. Because back then, I wouldn't really know tricks. Because now, like, I kind of wet my brush. And then, you know, I think that helped it. And I used a base and primer. So maybe that helps a lot as well. So, yeah, I really love this cut crease look. I don't know. Tell me, tell me what y'all think in the comments down below. And overall, I really loved the products, you guys. The palette is amazing. Go out and get it. If you have a chance to, just go and buy it. It's $1 flower bouquet. I'll leave everything that I used down in the description box. And go out and buy it, guys. $1. You can't beat it. Okay, guys. So, that's the finished look. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and click on that notification bell for more videos bye